My father started the company in 1976 and he used the name leader. When we took on the privatization of the company, we decided to change the name to HG Capital to carry the surname of the family, which is basically HNG, with the intention that it will be a new direction for the family business. The privatization exercise of the leader group not only saw the emergence of a new ownership of the family business, but also a new direction for the group under Datto Sean Home. Today, the HNG Capital Group focuses on four businesses. Power generation and transmission, metal, property, and hotel and food and beverage. The company's 35 megawatt diesel power plant in Phnom Penh, which started operation in 1997, was the first independent power producer or IPP project in Cambodia. Following this success and the impressive track record built over the years, the company secured the 30 years Build, Operate, Own or BOO concession from the Royal Government of Cambodia to build and operate their second power plant a 100-megawatt coal-fired power plant in Sihanoukville. This is also the first coal-fired power plant in Cambodia. This power plant has been operating since 2013. Around the same time, they also secured the first Build Operate Transfer, or BOT, concession for power transmission in Cambodia. This BOT project is a 25 years concession and involves the construction, operation and maintenance of the North Phnom Penh substation, Kompong Cham substation and the transmission line linking the two substations. This project has achieved successful commercial operation since 2013. We are happy to be part of the Cambodian growth and growing together with the country. Today, the company is in the process of developing the second phase of their coal power plant in Sihanoukville. Come 2019, the total generation capacity of their Sihanoukville plant will be increased to 235 megawatt. More power generation and transmission projects using diverse resources are also being explored in Southeast Asia, including Vietnam, Laos, Myanmar and Indonesia. We try to focus on Southeast Asia, where we see the power demand is growing. In Vietnam, we are involved in a, in a mini hydro. And the company's expertise can be seen in many of the power concession projects that they have successfully developed and presently operate, as well as other contracting works that they have delivered so far. Based on our regional ASEAN plan, we also hope to look at other energy sources as well, especially the renewable energy. The company's goal is to be a regional boutique power developer. We are trying to diversify uh, our portfolio, yep. so we are very selective in terms of the country that we are, we are investing in as well. In Malaysia, the company is a leading manufacturer of high-quality electrical-grade aluminium and aluminium alloy rods and electrical-grade copper rods and wires, which are primarily used in the cable manufacturing industry. The copper and the aluminium business has been an investment for many, many years. We still see the ongoing demand for the business. The company has two production facilities in Johor, one in Negri Sembilan and one in Penang, with a combined capacity of 200,000 tonnes for copper and aluminium per annum. It has exported to customers in over 30 countries worldwide. Its strong export track record has previously won them many awards. Previously under leader, the company has developed properties in Penang of exceptional values. Going forward, property including hotels and food and beverage will be a long-term strategic investment for the company. 
The recent acquisition of the 142-room Northern All Suite Hotel is a step forward for the company in its foray into the hotel business. Based on our experience from McAllister Mansion, we are trying to transform the Northern into something more trendy, but also more quirky hotel. In the food and beverage business, it has got to do with a lot of passion. It comes to a lot from the owner's side in terms of pushing for quality. Looking forward, HNG Capital Group is poised to further develop each of its core business segments and aims to position the family business to be a respectable regional investment holding company.